Like I say, I'm blessed. Bottom line. Larry Fleck is thankful he's alive to tell his story. There's a, there's a reason I'm here. I mean, I have a mission in life that uh, I don't know what it is, but uh, God will show me. Three weeks ago, Fleck says he was feeding his pet goats in the barn outside before heading back into his home to hunker down. He knew the weather was going to be bad, but he had no idea what he was about to experience firsthand. And I watched the porch that was here just take off. A tornado hitting his mobile home in a matter of seconds with him still inside of it. And that whole uh, building twisted and the front probably spit open like this. His mobile home on its side. There was really no time to react. Next thing Fleck knew, he was being ejected from his home and thrown around by the harsh wind. It was like boom, boom, boom. I mean, it went from laying there, going low, the next thing I, I'm, I'm, I can process is I'm laying in the middle of the street. This area right here among the bricks and the cinder blocks is where Flex house used to be. But when the tornado winds came in, it flew him and his house across the street. Yeah, about here, I would guess. This is where I ended up and I was face down. 20 yards away from where he first started, his home destroyed only feet away from him. Over here you can see this is the frame of the trailer itself. Flex and says he eventually made it out of the street and into a shed where two people found him and got him to a hospital in Taylor. He says his injuries include a few cracked ribs, bruises, cuts and 11 staples in his head. He says it was painful, but he feels okay now. It was just a godsend. My, my wife and my granddaughter wasn't here. Fleck lived in his home with his wife, but the day of the tornado, he took his wife and granddaughter to the airport to have a nice vacation in California at Disneyland. He stayed back to take care of the animals, but he says it truly was a blessing in disguise that they weren't there. I don't think they would have survived this scenario at all. I really don't. As for one of his goats and three of his cats, Flex says none of them made it. And all they wanted was love and to be treated like that and gone. It's just heartbreaking. I try not to think about it because that's immediate. For now, Flex says he's ready to move on from this traumatic incident and start new memories with his family. He says he's sad to see it go, but he's ready to start fresh. New story. I mean, I'm here to do it. Plain and simple. Amanda Ruiz, Fox 7 Austin News.